Okay, a wave one up. Wrong one. <laughs> Give me a sec on that. Uh, there we go. And there Vakir can see. <laughs> oh, hello, hello and welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Innocent mighty Lieutenant Rajir at your service, Rorb. <laughs> and welcome back for Sonic Rush Adventure, where, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably, there's a good chance I'll have cut this part out of the, uh, the YouTube version, but we have all seven of these emeralds. And I have to say, these purple ones are a pain in the ass to get. Why? Well, f for the Chaos Emeralds, we have to find and raise Johnny. For those wondering, these are where he is on the map. And for, for this one specifically in the corner here, this one was a pain to get to because he is at the... Well, if you try to get there from any of the standard ports from the main islands, he is just barely out of reach. But if you go to this island and then go... <clears throat> then the... Basically, it, it, it works a bit weirdly with travel sometimes. Like, let me just go and uh, show that off. Okay, I, I think the moment that we step in here that uh, the... <clears throat> the... Um, yeah, the activation of the final boss starts. Wait, if we just start from here, we can choose to leave from... Oh, okay, now that one is... Okay, that's weird, because all of the... All, all of the other hidden islands that I've run across so far aren't starting points, so why is this one specifically a starting point? Probably specifically so we can get the Johnny here. But, yeah. This one over here, I believe, is the purple Chaos Emerald race. And, yeah, I, I had to cheat with the emulator to get through it. Um, <clears throat> one of the things with the Johnny races is there will often be these purple mines that you can boost through. But if you boost into them, it will knock them away and you will be safe. But it will slow you down. And, well, the whole thing with these races is that you need to stay on Johnny's ass as long as possible and just boost past him at the end. And, yeah, if you get slowed down by boost, trying to boost through the areas where there's a lot of, of mines instead of, well, carefully steering through, you will lose, simply put. <clears throat> and, yeah, the... The... <clears throat> The mission to get the purple soul emeralds, that was to beat the, well, big swell or the ghosts, uh, the, basically the boss that we fought last time, but on hards. As in, yeah, we, we've been finding them on normal, and for the missions, they kick the bosses' difficulty up another grade. Of course. So, yeah, there I had to cheat with save states. <laughs> But yeah, all of that is done now. One another annoyance with the Soul Emerald missions is that to unlock some of them, you need to get, you need to find and complete some of the hidden islands. Specifically, let me see this one up here, and either one of these two. I think it's this one. So yeah, that can be a that can be a nuisance as well. Or maybe this one. Basically, yeah, it's just stu it's just dumb that you don't unlock those missions through well story progression, and that is hidden behind well a factor you aren't actually told about. But yeah, that's all done. So let's see if we can take on the. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> Sonic, Tails, Blaze, and Marine return to Southern Island. There they tried to think of a way for Sonic and Tails to get back to their world. Sonic, you mentioned before that the Soul Emerald's power allows dimensional travel. Perhaps you'd be able to use the Chaos Emeralds to get to your world. Well, I am working on a device that will use the power of the emeralds. It should be able to break the dimensional barrier, but it will take time to complete. 
I hope you don't mind if we stick around for a while, the Marine. <laughs> not at all. With the pirates gone, it's not like I don't have free time now. Well, here, uh, would you like to help me work on my ship? What? Marine, you're building another ship? Of course. I need a new ship to go on new adventures. The yes, a Supermarine. Super? Well, you saw how the first ship was all croak. Now, so now I just gotta make a better one. <laughs> Your Highness, I must speak with you. Haven't I told you not to call me that? My, my apologies, Princess Blaze. Go on, what is it then? It, it appears that the Royal's Jeweled Scepter was stolen last night. What? The Jeweled Scepter? Tell me everything. Yes, well, we put the scepter back into the treasury where, which, where, yeah, where it would be safe. But around dawn, it seemed that someone must have broken in and taken it. How could you let this happen? I, I beg your forgiveness, forgiveness, Highness. This there was getting on to the bottom of things, or getting to the bottom of things. Getting to the bottom of what exactly? Well, there is another legend told about the scepter. Another legend? The legend tells of a power of the stars and a key. The terms come up often. Power of the stars. Key? I'm not exactly sure about the power, but the key seems to be the scepter itself. What it all means is a mystery, I fear. I fear, though, that the scepter holds a secret. A terrible secret that could affect the entire world. So if the scepter is this key and it's been stolen, then who knows what will happen. Yet yeah, just it's <laughs> just the scepter itself was enough to cause seismic activity, which is a problem enough on its own. Yeah. Well hold on just a sec. I don't think I don't think it's all that bad a sign. I mean, who could have taken it? We already defeated the pirates after all. Right. Speaking of which though, I've been thinking about something. What is it, Tails? Didn't it sound like the pirates wanted the scepter for someone else? And it was rather blatant with that. There was something that they said while they were running away. Then ye shall all uh, know his wrath, Zav Savvy. His. That's right. Now that you mention it, it makes sense that they'd be working, uh, they'd be doing some, well, yeah, someone's dirty work. The question is, whose dirty work were they doing? Whoever it was must have been the one who stole the jeweled scepter this time. Hmm? Everyone outside. What's going on? Another earthquake? It's the biggest one yet. Okay, it looks like it's, <laughs> this is going real fast. Of course. Ah, my dear friend Sonic. Long time no see. Who the heck is this guy? And what did he do what was he doing lurking under water under the water like that? Dr. Eggman, what are you doing here? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I suppose I'll just tell you. I'm here because of the ultimate power set to exist in this universe. Ultimate power? Indeed, a power that I plan to use as my own, to its fullest advantage. And I'm guessing that's not going to be any good for the rest of us. I merely plan to use this power to turn this place into my ideal paradise, Eggman Land. You still have that crazy idea? Eggman Land? What the... Eggman. So then everything that's happened up to us up till now... Oh, you're a clever little fox. I knew you'd figure it out. The person who was behind the pirates. The one who stole the jeweled scepter. The real criminal mastermind behind this whole thing. He looks just like that pirate... <laughs> mustached pirate bloke. Yeah, that was kind of a big... <laughs> that was kind of a big hint that he was an Eggman creation, no? Yeah, I was wondering which of the Eggman made him. <laughs> 
It was you, Eggman. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Ah yes, but who else could it have been, eh? And just in case you don't believe me, it's a dual scepter. Wait, what are you going to do with it? What do I plan on doing? Or I think you already know that, don't you? If the scepter really is the key spoken of in those these legends, then this power of the stars must be what he's really after. Isn't that right, Eggman? <laughs> and of course, where there's one here, there's the other. Brilliantly worked oh, out, your no. highness. Brilliant indeed. Eggman negative? Blaze, it truly is always a pleasure to see you. And you, if memory serves me correctly, you're Sonic the Hedgehog. So you're a part of this too, aren't you? Oh boy, now I'm seeing double. Maybe I need to get my head checked. Uh... I figured you'd be here, negative. So then, the power of the stars. According to my research, it should be right below us. Right here on the ground. <laughs> Power of the stars is on the ground? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Allow me to explain. This world and Dr. Eggman's world exist in separate dimensions. Each of us can think of the other as what is known as a parallel, a parallel universe. What makes this possible is the so called power of the stars. When Nega told me that, or Negative uh, told me this, I practically jumped for joy. The only problem, though, was finding the key that would unlock this power. The Jeweled Scepter. Yes, and so we got a band of pirates together to go on a little search for it. And so that's why there were pirates all over the place. Which also explains why we needed to fight them every time we, well, took off anywhere. Once we have the key, we just needed to find out where the door it opened was. And so, after a great deal of research, I discovered where the power lies. Right here, underneath this very island. <laughs> it's here? Of course, we didn't count on a bunch of you showing up, but that's insignificant. Soon the power of the stars will be ours, so... You don't honestly think I'm going to let you get away with this. Ah, it's, it's another earthquake. And it's even bigger than the ones before. Dr. Eggman, the equilibrium of the energy is beginning to degrade. <laughs> what timing? No, Sonic, I'm afraid I've got things to do, so I'll be off. The Jeweled Scepter. Hold it right there, you twin <laughs> mustachioed monkeys. My, my, now who's this little brat? Blaze needs that scepter back, and I still don't know what this Eggman land thing is. Once we have the power of the stars, we promise to return it unharmed. How does that sound, little girl? <laughs> See you later, kiddo, and farewell, Sonic. <laughs> and off they scoot. Get back here, Eggman. Wait up, you still haven't told me what Eggman land is. Another quake? <laughs> what in the world is causing all of these quakes? I think it might have something to do with Eggman and Eggman negative. And they're unleashing of the power of the stars. And we then we have to find some way to stop it. We can't just keep letting this happen. Don't worry, Blaze. I've got just the thing for the occasion. With the magma hurricane that I've built, we can burrow deep on the ground. Then we can follow after Eggman and Eggman Negative. Nice going, Tails. <laughs> oh, you hear that, Eggman? We're coming after you. And I'm gonna make you tell me what Eggman land is, Marine. You're really freaking stuck on this. <laughs> uh, yeah, wait, wait, Tails wait. just. Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead. Magma Hurricane! Yep. Really? Yep, he just uh, built uh, he just built a big ass drill in his spare time here. It's just innate, like, it does sound terrifying, but also... I mean, I, I mean we, are, we can all agree. It does sound a bit silly, but also at the same time... If you were someone who could make a hurricane made of magma? Yeah. Oh, gods. Oh, yeah. Pardon? 
Ta-da! Here's the Magma Hurricane that I mentioned. Strew Tails! Is there anything you can't build, mate? I'm beginning to, I'm beginning to think there isn't. Ah. <laughs> Enough of that. We need to get it started once. Right. Okay, guys, hop in. Also, I should turn off... There we go. Okay, since I moved over the U the, the uh, Bluetooth receiver, I have been getting less uh, stutters in audio and such. But when there's unnecessary things drawing power from the USB hub, it does still stutter here and there. And I forgot to turn off the charger for my headset. <clears throat> Oh, this is going to be my Simply Ripper. I wonder what it's like on the ground. We need to catch them before they get at the power of the stars. Right. Ready, set, and launch. Oh dear. Also, you did uh, mystery there's in, uh, in the earlier cutscene. Who? Oh. You said mustache, not mustachio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. <laughs> I can feel it. Such power. Sonic, look! Whoa. Sonic, you're too late. It's too powerful. Sonic, I'm falling over. Yeah, what, what? What is that thing? Yeah. Magnificent. The, the energy levels on my craft's readout are through the roof. I've never imagined that this sort of power was even possible. Even the Chaos Emeralds and Soul Emeralds can't compare to, to this. <laughs> Is this what unleashing the power of the stars can do? Behold, Sonic. With this power, I am tr at, last, at last truly unstoppable. Uh. <laughs> at last, it's mine. And so thanks to you, Blaze. What? It was your royal family that kept the scepter nice and safe for all these generations. Now that they've served their purpose, though, I have no further need of them. It will only take a fraction of this power to wipe your kingdom off the map. <laughs> Blaze, stay calm. Now, the world will be my plaything. I shall bring about an age of fear and chaos. It shall be glorious. And yeah, that's one more difference between the two of them. Negative is basically chaotic evil, while... Mm, you couldn't call Eggman chaotic uh, law lawfully uh, lawful evil, but he is more about order than chaos. Lawful evil. Yeah, that, then he would that would mean he uh, keeps his word and such. But yeah, one that is more towards an order kind of evil, and one, one the other to chaos evil. Not, well, uh, not but not in the way that you, the D and D alignment would uh, say. Haven't they had he actually kept his word with the few time he has promised? Hmm, to a point, I think. But he will backstab someone the moment he can. So it's not like yeah. Could be something to look into more, but we'd have to see. Yeah, I think hmm. he might be lawfully like he doesn't want total destruction, he wants to rule. Yeah. But he he will uh, be lawful in a way, but within his own boundaries. Yeah. He, you can see he wants to make his rule, rules. And I think a better way to say it would be that Eggman negative. He just wants to. He just wants to uh, be. He, yeah. He just wants to be a destroyer. And yeah, the original Eggman just wants to be a dictator. To put it in more I simple terms. A destroyer and a ruler. <clears throat> okay. I must stop him. Blaze? You're the princess, remember? You need to keep a level, he a level head. Who's going to look out for the people of this world if something happens to you? Who else is going to be able to give the people of this world peace? Yes. 
That is my duty as princess. My duty and my honor. I will not allow my people to come to such suffering. Let's go, Sonic. Okay, that's the ticket, Blaze. <laughs> Sonic, if we don't stop, then nothing will keep them from destroying the world. Right, now it's up to you and me. Let's do this. What? You dare? Of course they dare, they always dare. <laughs> and here we go again. Sound like a specific to try to shout the Kamehameha or something. <laughs> Please, we can't keep yeah, we can't beat them unless we work together. You're right, Sonic. But how are we supposed to fight them without getting in each other's way? Simple, we take turns. Take turns? <laughs> I get it. One of us goes on the offense and the other handles support. Right, by doing that, not only can we conserve our energy. But whoever has the best moves for a situation can tag in. Yes, they'll allow us to get our power up to the absolute max. How will we switch off? If yeah, press R to switch. To attack, X or Y, A or B to dash, the arrow moves to move in all eight directions. Got it. Now let's do it. For the fate of the world. And for the sake of my people. <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank you. The timing of that. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Deep core. Okay. Let's see. We can deflect rocks, sonic, and projectiles. Okay. Oh, he's smashing them with his face. Okay. I thought it. No, that's for uh, the next game in the. Uh, not really. in the timeline or something. Action of it. Okay. I guess one where there is a Sonic game where he actually is using a sword. Yeah. It seems that like people do not like that one. Like, they like the concept, but the execution didn't fail or something. Yeah, the execution wasn't done uh, as good as it could have. Yeah, this is a shame, but it did look good, even though it looked a bit. Uh, yeah, it, it was a bit unused to see Stony with a sword and not with a armor. Yeah. Mm. Okay, not sure if we can deflect that, that one. And also, I just looked at it, uh, as I said this earlier. I know they have a new follower. Uh, I think they, uh, I think they followed during the last stream or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. I would not realize. I should read their name and realize how pretty it is. Okay. Ah, damn it. Dolph Knox. <laughs> well, we will be going to the. Uh, <laughs> we, will get this, right? <laughs> we will be going. We'll likely finish this far in the. Ew. Come on. Far in the uh, time that we have. Ew. Ow. Yeah, it just so, so feel like we had to spend over 24 minutes on the cutscenes. Mm. Can we reflect this one? No, we cannot. Because we just have to be out of the way of that. Okay. <clears throat> Luckily, we automatically restart. But yeah, we do have Jedi Academy ready for after this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Blaze just, well, <laughs> fires, uh, fireballs. Okay. Mm 
Okay, so can I destroy that thing that he fires off here? No. Okay, so best to just rip, stay out of the way as best as possible. Mm. Oh, now he's firing off multiple of those. Mm. 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 Okay, running low. Okay, those are going to. St okay, they they just yeah they get destroyed after a certain amount of time. Mm. Oh, damn it! Mm. Probably easiest to just blast him as Blaze. Then we can just keep doing this instead of having to wait for oh, damn it, his attacks. Okay, that was that actually got pretty close. Okay. Can we just Okay, we can't just get an easy shot in like that. Okay. Gotta collect as many of these as we can. Okay. And just blast them as fast as we can. Okay. Get out of the way once it reaches its apex. Then just switch to Sonic. To reflect at least some attacks. Yep, oh, damn it. Nope. I thought those were destroyed already, but no. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's keep going. So, I'm going to guess that there's going to be another stage to this, because this is being very easy compared to uh, the previous game. And again, I think they toned down the difficulty in general. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, they probably figure out that if there's a certain difficulty that you can only do, you cannot see it on the uh, hand console. Yeah, and here we go. Yep, there it's multiple stages. Ooh. Okay, he's stirring up the, the lava below. Ooh. Okay, probably best to just avoid those as much as possible. We're trying to split them up. Running low on rings. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to do better about dodging his attacks. No, damn it. Okay. At me a, I, I completely missed a double. Okay. No. Keep collecting rings wherever possible. Damn it. He doesn't always seem to fully react. 
When I try to switch. doesn't really seem to be a tell for whether he's going to fire a fast or a slow shot with that. Okay, give me those. And it seems a bit like luck on if I'll be able to reflect two of those at once. There. Retreats. Oh, okay. At least we get a refill here. Mm. Okay, and he's going to start stirring the lava with magma since it's underneath the, the ground. It, ah, damn it. Why did I just get hungry for peanut rings? <laughs> okay. That, that, that's that's your thing. Rings that's the uh, play with peanuts. No. Nope. Nope, that's Ooh. new. Uh-oh. Oh, that was stun. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to guess that we'll have to drain his bar, his yeah, his energy bar three times. Okay. Let's get as many rings as possible here. Okay. Probably be a better idea to try and reflect those attacks back as much as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, still reflected the, the dragon somehow there. Mm. You leave all yeah. of them there! And they did hurt him! Yeah, give me that. Mm. I missed all of those. Or got a few of them, but not enough, I'd say. Or Damn it. Oh, damn it. Come on, hmm. now, Either I'm getting the timing wrong, or it seems to just get the... Uh, yeah, sometimes... Yeah, either I'm getting the timing wrong, or sometimes it just doesn't fully register or something. Hmm. Also, we can dodge through. We cannot dodge through those, okay. Unless yeah. you time it very precisely. AKA, if you want to dodge through them, you need to be a pro. Or damn mm. lucky. Mm. Yep. I ran out of rings. Okay, let's give it one more try. 
And then I'll start using save states to try and get through this so we don't spend two full hours on this. Mm. As many of these as we can. Yep. Without trying to hit those. I completely missed the six. Okay, we can hit those to destroy them as well. Maybe. Okay, we had early. Early, it seemed like the, one of them blew up because we had hit it. Okay. Okay, those shots are generally reasonably easy to dodge by just moving around a little bit. Okay, if we hit them twice, they blow up, it seems. Okay. So we can at least destroy one of the dragons each time. Okay. I think that's actually less rings than we had before, but oh well. There. They had enough distance of those to... Okay, I thought they were destroyed already. Got this again. Yep. Okay. Hmm? What? I just thought that you were close to grabbing a lot of rings. I know. Hmm. Okay. Let's try so this was... with getting more of the here without getting hit. Okay. I probably should switch to uh, Sonic for these. If it weren't for the fact that... Yeah. I'll have to get the timing right on those. Get lost already, you. There we go. This is more about damage mitigation than actually damaging him. Still, and the more damage we prevent ourselves from taking, the better we're off. We still need to collect the rings whenever possible. Yeah. There. Okay, that's much better. I know. 
And now the, it, the rings forces are during these transitions. Yeah, right? There seems to be a hard way to counter the stuns, other than to dodge all of them. Mm. Yeah. At least he leaves himself wide open as he casts it. Getting the tight. Uh. Mm. Uh. Come on. It's only a few stages with this, come on. Ah. And his attack is basically just a big time waster since he he cuts us off from at least one side of the screen. Okay, so it is three stages by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, come on! At least he has less and a hell, less health with each of these, but damn it. Okay. Let's see. He really makes it harder to collect the damn rings. Yeah, which makes sense he is, since he is, this is the true boss, so it should not be easy. But some of those have... Oh, wait. Can I... No. Okay, if, I, if you can reflect those, I'm... No. Some of them have spikes and some of them don't. Hmm. So I'm guessing you could reflect some of them? Probably hmm. Probably Sonic. Let me try it. Yeah. Okay, either you have... One more try. Okay, yeah, you can reflect those. Okay, but you just need to be real early with uh, hitting them. Yeah, and the, the effect of those, it's him! It. So... Yeah. It, yeah, can we learn the timing of them? We can turn it into our advantage. And hopefully have a better shot to get into them wings. Okay, probably better to just dodge the fuckers. Hmm. I guess I need, to re I need to hit it real early to send them back. Oh, we can also destroy them. Okay, that's also good. Nah. Um. Nope. Uh. Okay, come on. This should be the last round. Mm 
Nip, nip, nip. Oh, is that it? Oh, come on. Oh, okay, that is it. <laughs> okay. Probably, I probably would have been able to do that in one go with enough time, but I think we both value our time enough to not do that. Okay. No, Kershu Sonic. <laughs> it's time to die, fools. Negative? Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> what? No, you're mad. Don't push that button. Planet Buster Laser, fire. <laughs> How do you like that, Eggman? A, a, a Sonic Blaze something. Sonic, go! Bust straight through and... Finish with fireworks. <laughs> Come on, do you have to insult me with a C? Okay. Sonic! Oh, Blaze! Good morning, Blaze. So, this is the ship you've built then, Tails. Yep, yeah, I designed this ship to be capable of dimensional travel. I call it the SS Tornado EX. <laughs> I, I never thought it'd be so simple getting back to our own world. Well, it's all thanks to the power of the Chaos Emeralds and the Soul Emeralds. So, this craft uses the power of both sets of emeralds? Yeah. In the, yeah, the energy acts to form a sort of tunnel between this world and our world. Hmm. So then the Chaos Emeralds and the Soul Emeralds are... Sort of like north and south on the magnet. If they have the power to repel each other, then they can attract each other too. And if misused, they could potentially bring ruin to both worlds. Right. That's what the Eggmen were both saying. So then, how do you prevent that from happening, Tails? Well, I haven't done anything special in particular. They're both extremely stable. Because of that, I was able to put this ship together in such a short time. What do you mean? Well, I got to thinking... Doesn't it seem like the Emeralds are trying to help us? The Chaos Emeralds? And the Soul Emeralds? Yeah, if they weren't, I don't think they'd be nearly as stable as they are. It's almost as if they want to be used to do this. Trying to help us. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to get us ready to launch soon, Sonic. Thanks, Tails. By the way, Blaze, what happened to the scepter? Ah, yes, the jeweled scepter. It's been returned to its altar, under even, under even a heavier guard than before. It's safe. Oh good, that's a relief. Now there's two koalas <laughs> guarding it. <laughs> Sonic? Hmm? Do you think that maybe you were brought here for a reason? Brought here? By whom? By the emeralds. Well, you never know. Sonic, it's time to go. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Just like last time. This marine didn't want to say goodbye or something like that. Looks like it. Hey! Wait, stop the boat! 
Marine. <laughs> yeah, she actually managed to make it work this time. <laughs> Marine, I didn't think you were going to show up. What are you on about, mates? I can't let you leave without seeing you off. By the way, Marine, what's that ship? It's the SS Supermarine. It took days and days to finish, but doesn't it look abuse? You made it all by yourself? Great job, Marine. Yep, well, I can't leave any stone unturned if I'm going <laughs> to explore the world. And to do that, I need my own ship after all. Plus, you probably can't figure out the controls for any of Tails' contraptions. <laughs> it's okay. I know what you're thinking. Hmm? I don't have what it takes. I don't think I can do all this adventuring on my own. Marine. Not but I'm not going to give up. I need to keep trying harder and harder until I can do it. I mean, it took everything I had just to build this ship. <laughs> Marine, it takes a lot of courage to recognize your own shortcomings. It's really impressive that you've come to realize that. Sonic. Tails. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're the best mates ever. I won't just focus on adventures either. I promise they'll start you hard too. Good. The next time we see each other, don't be too blown away by how much I've grown up. Good luck. And... And I'll... I'll be... Marine? Come on, the captain's not supposed to cry. If you stick with it, then we really will meet again, someday. S Sonic. Yeah, it's not like this is goodbye forever, Marine. Tails. You're right. I'll make sure that I'll get to see you guys soon. I'll be sure to find you, no matter where you are. Even if I have to go to your world. We'll be waiting. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. See you later. And that is the true end of Sonic Rush Adventure. And a sad farewell to the Empire, Soul Empire. I think that's what it's called, Soul Empire. Uh, let me do a quick look on that. Just to, 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 uh, Sonic Wiki Blaze. But yeah, you can see that. In most areas, this game is a massive improvement over the, the first one. Yes, it has some very big annoyances, like uh, <laughs> having to grind a, a less grind and more repeat levels for some things. But still, overall, it is a big improvement on the story side. Oh, yeah. Now, let's see. Blaze the Cat, da -da -da -da. Archie Comics, da -da 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 -da. here we have Soul Empire, okay, so she's an Imperial Princess. Yep. Hmm. Y what the heck do you think you joked about Emperor Big Cat? <laughs> Big the Cat, I mean. <laughs> that, that would probably be even more hilarious than King Big. <laughs> yeah, especially when he talks about to nuke him oh, with that voice, not the mannerism, just the voice. I don't think uh, he want the big the cat to speak like a hedonist. Uh, that's what the nuke was, right? Yeah. Right? Hedonist. Yeah, some people say he's a misogynist. He's more a hedonist. <clears throat> I don't think. I think it's a case that some people don't don't know the difference. Yeah. Yeah, hedonist is someone who seeks pleasure. Whichever, uh, well, however they can and such. Some, of course, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's more expected. 
Uh, misogynist is someone just who just hates and belittles women and such. Uh, yeah, Duke Nukem, for people who write him properly, is a hedonist, not a misogynist. He's not like he forces women to do stuff for him. He's only good with it if they're good with it. Uh, wait, hold on. Hmm? Okay, here, let's do this. Duke Nukem loves women. Yeah. Or so, yeah, hates mistreats is probably be better said. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I record him even mistreating one except the, for the bosses. Hmm. That's been a rare one, but uh, those were more a uh, high queen and such by then. Yeah. Though I have heard, I've never played Duke Nukem Forever myself, but I have heard that that's also the game where he's the least, or in the main game, he's the least in character with it, where he just doesn't seem to care about the suffering of the women he's supposed to be rescuing. But yeah, the oh. less said about Duke Nukem Forever, the better, I'd say. Yeah, it seems like the earlier prototype <laughs> I had of it was uh, being a better game than the one they ended up doing. Yeah. Thank you for playing. And this game is the last we saw of the Soul Dimension. <laughs> Sonic Rush Adventure, the end. Presented by Sega. Okay, I, I really hope one day we get a return of the Soul Dimension and Blaze the Cats. Yeah, and... Um, <laughs> so one last time... <laughs> <laughs> what if... A uh, big if... What if... Marine... Is the teams to... Blaze. I would, I would find that very fitting, because, let's be honest, if I recall correctly, Tails was uh, a bit of a nuisance to Sonic as well early on, because well, he was supposedly even younger when they first met, and he he clung to him very heavily. Hopefully yeah. Marine won't be as clingy with things, and that you'll have picked up a few good lessons from those two during their time here. But yeah, I, w I would not mind seeing Marine again. Yeah, also, th th there's a reason I'm saying this. In the favorite scenes, he said that she, well, she made that boat find herself and made it work. And she said next time they meet, she would have studied harder. Yeah. Studied. Yeah, I, I very much doubt she'll be able to match Tails in uh, his crafting and such. But there's probably other points that Marine will be able to excel in. Like whatever the hell she did to launch that attack at the end there. Yeah, what the hell was that? No idea, and I don't think it's ever explained, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th that came out of left... Wait, did it actually literally came out of left field? <laughs> that came out of the right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But, yeah. Uh, it, it has been nearly 20 years since this game came out, and to a degree, people say that this game may have helped save the franchise, because this game came out in 2007, along with, uh, or before it came out, uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings, the first of the quote-unquote quote -unquote storybook games. And before that, well... The game came out in 2006. Hmm? Sonic 06, the game that Wait. almost killed the franchise. Oh! Oh! Uh, yeah, the, from what I recall, the reception to Sonic and the Secret Rings was uh, mild to be put best. 
uh, because they were they leaned a bit too hard in the gimmicks with the motion controls and such. Personally, I don't mind motion controls as well, but if they're implemented right. Uh, so yeah, this you could see this game as a, a pivot point back into the good graces of the fans. Yeah. Bloody heck. Of course it's called Solid Island. And I am curious how the rest of the Soul Empire looks, because I very much I I hope it isn't just mostly islands and such. But could be curious. Hmm. I hope there is hope. There hopefully is some la other land masses and all that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's where we'll have to end this with the Sonic games that we have planned to stream for now. I do plan to stream other Sonic games in the future, like Sonic Mania and such, but we'll see where we'll fit those in. Because what we have planned up next is the remainder of the Jedi... No, not the Jedi, the Star Wars games I had planned, which were Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, so that's five times fast. And Republic Commando. I've been trying to get Shadows of the Empire to work again, but whatever, mu whatever mucked up with uh, Borderless Gaming seems to have undone whatever I did to get Shadows of the Empire working. So we're going to leave that one on a maybe. But Jedi Academy, we're going to start up in a bit. And Republic Commando will certainly follow that. If we do Shadows, we'll just have to see. From what I saw, it's not too impressive of a game anyways, so it would kind of be ending the series or the, the chain of games on a low point, perhaps. But we'll see. <clears throat> and yeah, after that, Battle for Middle-Earth. <laughs> okay. But for now... Let's close off the emulator and uh, might as well show. Yes, I, I, I put this thing into the background. Uh, uh, okay, wait, it's not actually showing because of it's over. So here, but yeah, I also put this thing into the background, even though the emulator goes over it. So that was kind of a bit of wasted effort, but oh well. <laughs> I just find it looks nicer like this anyways. <clears throat> But yeah, let's actually move over to here where we will continue with Jedi Academy. But for now, everyone who has been watching this just for Sonic Cross Adventure here on Twitch or on YouTube, thank you all for watching. Yep. <laughs> and oh, yep. there's a little bit inside here, so let me move that away. Uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, rest well, and watch out for those scorched turn seagulls. <laughs> and the Eggman. They've got the master plan. <laughs> for the master omelette. <laughs>